What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Watch Gauge channel. Today we're doing something quite a bit different. We're not talking about the watches that I sell or what's coming in. I'm actually talking about five interesting things that you may not know about. The first ever water resistant wristwatch, the Rolex Oyster. So the other day I was talking to a friend of mine, we happened to be talking about this watch here is after the video I shot on the Zodiac Super Sea Wolf, the new blue and white. Uh, check that video out. It's a really fun video on an up close look at this brand new version of the Zodiac Super Sea Wolf. So a friend of mine and I were getting into a discussion about dive watches. I'm a dive watch nut and um, you know I'm into the history of them and we started discussing what was the first water resistant, uh, at the time they called it waterproof, but what was the first water resistant wristwatch? And we both were talking about the Oyster from Rolex because many people believe it to be the very first water resistant and dust resistant watch. So here are five fun facts that you didn't know about the Rolex Oyster. Number one, no, the Rolex Oyster was not indeed the first water resistant wristwatch. Widely acclaimed to be the first water and dust resistant wristwatch, there are examples of water resistant watches dating back to the 1850s. According to a great blog article on VintageWatchStraps.com, at the Great Exhibition of London in 1851, a pocket watch from W. Pettit & Company was displayed in a glass globe filled with water and goldfish. But one of the very first water resistant wristwatches was from Francois Borgel, which dated back to the 1890s, as well as the submarine watch by Tavon back in the mid 1910s. Where I think people believe Rolex to have the first water resistant wristwatch is because they were so good at marketing and advertising it. And they put the word out there that Rolex was indeed making a watch for all elements. Number two, how Rolex was able to accomplish the water resistant oyster. For a long time, what prevented most wristwatches from having any water resistance was the crown and stem and where they met the case. With the invention of the screw down crown, it gave Rolex the ability to seal the case for true water resistance. But the screw down crown wasn't invented by Rolex. In fact, it was invented by Paul Perigo and George Perret, who were granted the patent in May of 1926. It was in July of 1926 when Hans Wilsdorf purchased all of the rights to the patent and had the patent assigned to him. Wilsdorf then went and registered the patent in Britain, Germany, and the United States. Number three, did Rolex create the first ever dive watch? No, in fact, Omega did. Wilsdorf's desire to have the first water resistant watch wasn't intended for swimming or diving, but more for everyday wear to avoid damaging Rolex watches from perspiration, rain, dust, and daily wear. Omega created the first dive specific watch and water resistant tested wrist watch known as the Omega Marine. They didn't have to come up with an alternative to the screw down crown or purchase the rights to it from Rolex because the Omega Marine was a watch that slid into an additional outer casing to provide water resistance. Number four, the Oyster was not Hans Wilsdorf's first attempt at a water resistant watch. In 1922, Rolex introduced the Submarine, which like the Omega Marine, had a second outer case to protect the workings of the watch. Although it was waterproof and dustproof, the watch was not practical. The outer shell had to be opened every day to wind and set the watch. In doing so, it weakened the metal gasket that sealed the opening, which would have quickly rendered the system useless. Number five and last but not least, it's possible that Rolex is the very first brand to have a watch brand ambassador. In October of 1927, English swimmer Mercedes Gleitz became the first ever English woman to swim across the English Channel. During her swim, she wore a gold Rolex Oyster around her neck. Rolex pounced at the opportunity to boast about the ruggedness and water resistance of the Oyster by taking out a full page advertisement in the Daily Mail. The famed English swimmer then went on to promote the Rolex Oyster in various magazines and news articles. 
So tell me what you think, guys, were these five things that you did or did not know about the first ever water-resistant watch, the Rolex Oyster. If you have any other interesting facts about this particular piece, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time we have a video come up here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, like our Facebook page. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and for buying watches from watchgauge.com.